I'm Steve Berg, and I'm from Rogers, Minnesota, and you're watching TJV. Don't forget to mash that like button. Morning, everybody. Me and Paul in law here are tarping our loads, getting them ready to go. They're both going to Brainerd, Minnesota. Off we go. Down to Minnesota. Paul in law is coming in behind me there. Cyclists, man, they're getting crazy. So it's about a six, well, maybe seven, six, seven hour drive down to Brainerd, Minnesota, where we're gonna drop these loads off at the same place. both gonna head down together uh, I think it's called Middlebury Indiana somewhere around there for now let's just worry about getting this load finished I'm sitting at approximately 77,000 pounds gross and Jerry behind me is sitting at probably about 78. So we're uh, well below the legal limit. Weight for weight in the US. This is Sioux Narrows, Ontario. Hoping to be able to find a coffee here. I 
There's my load. And his is actually completely different, but it's going to the same place. It's the same in that it's lumber, but it's totally different kind of lumber. I have Aspenite board, I believe, and he has eight foot two by fours. That's his load. Wrapped up like a nice little Christmas present. I'm pretty sure I was using this truck for city work not too long ago. Now it's his. Boy, we can get a pretty good thumbnail right here. doing something and you get to watch a little movie while you make your coffee too oh there it is oh it's farting something up rolling into Fort Francis Ontario if you recognize that name, it's because we go through here quite a bit. On the other side of the river here is International Falls, Minnesota. Well, that's actually over there. We're gonna go to the bridge and uh, cross over. This will be Jerry's first time crossing into the US commercially. So they may ask him a few extra questions. I have no idea. Pretty sure it'll be the same questions that I always get asked. Like, where are you going? Where are you from? What you hauling? You got any fruit? Stuff like that. The obvious ones, any alcohol, any weapons. Mm. Gotta, gotta give them your uh, passport, your paperwork for the load. And I uh, eh, shouldn't have a problem. And then once we cross, we have another three hours down to Brainerd. We'll unload there in the morning. And then tomorrow we'll uh, make the, the journey down to Indiana. Got to pick up some utility trailers there. Lots and lots of construction on this highway. We came down uh, Ontario Highway 71. Now we're on Ontario 11. I think they call them the King's Highway. King's Highway 11. Though wouldn't it technically be the Queen's Highway 11? Though the Queen is getting up there in age, you know. So I have a feeling within my lifetime there may be a king. Oh, she's holding on to that throne pretty, pretty tightly though, eh? Thanks. <laughs> ah, for those of you who don't know, uh, most of you do. Uh, in the U.S., their head of state is their president. In Canada, our head of state is Queen Elizabeth II. The U.S. is a constitutional republic. Canada is a constitutional monarchy. Similar systems, but not really. We're very close friends, though. They used to be part of the family. They got upset. They moved out. It's all in the past. All right, red light. Anytime now. Anytime. I want you to be green. No? Okay. Please turn green. No? Oh, there's traffic coming. No, oh, it's going to be a while. Okay. <laughs> Got to wait for that traffic coming over there to get past here, and then we'll get the green light to go. Fun times. Fun times. That's the rest of the traffic. And green. No? I'm not very good at Aha! Green! Ha! Green light! Green means go. I love green. It's one of my favorite colors, not really. Blue is my favorite color, obviously. If you were wondering. Look at this mess. Look at this mess. new car 
curbs in. Very nice. Very nice. So they're redoing this whole thing. Okay. I guess if they want to pull their camper trailers out of there right now, they're out of luck. SOL. No camping for you guys till the road is finished. Take that. This tree, they got vines growing all the way up it. Or those branches. Who knows? Who knows? Who's to say? So it looks like any American town, like I always say. You know, you got your Dairy Queens, you got your McDonald's, you got your Pizza Hut, you got your Super 8 Motel. Boston Pizza is a Canadian company though, which is weird because it's called Boston Pizza. Right? It's a restaurant and sports bar. There's actually quite a few people living here. I don't know what the main industry would be here. This is kind of far off the beaten path, you know? If you're in Fort Francis, you're either here to cross the border into International Falls, or you're here because you live here. And there's quite a few people. And there's quite a few jobs here then. Here's a Tim Hortons. Maybe they all work at Tim Hortons. Do they have truck parking? Of course they don't. <laughs> of course they don't. Nice challenger there though. All right, we're almost there everybody, so I'll see you on the other side. See if you can spot the differences between a Canadian town and an American town. International Falls. I made it through. I'm just waiting for Paul and Law to get the clearance as well. He should be through here in just a minute or two. And then we've really got to find a, a place to clean up a little bit. There's been no stops between where we loaded this lumber and the border here. It'd be really nice to be able to clean up a little bit and even just wash my hands. But no, no washrooms, no nothing. The one place we did stop at for coffee didn't have washrooms they had outhouses there's a difference that's not a bathroom that's an outhouse so once he comes around the corner here behind me then we'll uh, continue on down the road we'll find a nice American truck stop with running water <laughs> it's just that we went down a kind of a remote stretch of highway on the way here 71 had nothing on it except for uh, the Sioux Narrows there where we stopped at that trading post and for some reason they didn't have bathrooms there most places do have bathrooms just so you know running water is not a foreign thing in canada running water is the standard just but apparently not on highway 71. so just from dealing with the tarps like i have dirt all up and down my arms i'd love to get changed another three hours we won't be able to get unloaded today did i tell you that already we'll get unloaded tomorrow there won't be any pilot flying j on our way there, which is unfortunate because there you get free showers when you fuel. All right, we're good to go. All right, awesome. Here he comes.
guys remember this town. Been through here a couple of times recently. It's probably gonna be a regular town that I pass through. So we have a lot of freight that gets picked up over here. We've got some good loads that come back home from the US, but we need to get down there. And we don't want to go all the way down empty, so picking up lumber in western, northwestern Ontario, bringing it down here, is a nice little, you know, nice little load to fill in the gap. Though we still have kind of a big deadhead on this load. Uh, that'll be all day tomorrow. But sometimes you got to go the distance, because I can't take a load from Minnesota to Indiana. And that wasn't the plan originally. The plan was to pick up a new load in Minnesota, but that load fell through. So this was our only other option, really. Phew, excuse me. International Falls Bass Championship. Cool. Or is it the Bass Championship? Ah, I'm going to have to pull over up here and wait for him. He got stuck at a light, I think. I'm just gonna wait till we get a straight stretch of road. But yeah, I have to pick up a load that goes back to Canada. I can't take a load from Minnesota to Indiana. That doesn't work. And this wasn't the original plan, so in order for me to go get those trailers in Indiana, after I drop this load in Brainerd, Minnesota, I'm gonna have to go empty to pick that one up. Oh, kid. Ed, what are you doing so close to the lane? There you go, there you go. Right on. He wants me to honk. I love getting the arm pump. I'm all, I'm all excited now. That just made my day. I'm gonna pull in right here and wait for him. Right in front of their uh, sports stadium. He's a little bit behind me. I know he's got his GPS, but I'd rather run together. I don't run convoy very often. I'm actually not a fan of running convoy very often. I usually run by myself, but uh, this is a special a special trip. It's his first one. And, uh, you know, I want to make sure there's no issues. I want to make sure he's comfortable, that he has a good time. That he doesn't feel like I'm, like, running off on him. Here he comes. This kid crossing the street? No? Okay. We're in Deer Falls, Minnesota. So Cenex gas station here. We are headed that way. Just make sure he's ready. Are you ready? Uh -oh. All right. Let's go. Furniture. I think it's closed. shop a little elbow grease required but mostly standing for some truck 
working. It's a little wet out though, ran through a little bit of rain. That's okay. A little water never hurt me. We ended up at Casey's, just west of Brainerd, Minnesota. You can't see it in front of me there, I'm sure. There's some truck park in there. Nice truck stop, we can grab some coffee here in the morning. And we actually have two different unloading locations, same company, and both in Brainerd. So we'll talk about that tomorrow. Uh, I'm gonna go get him, uh, Paul and Law Jerry, unloaded first. And then we're gonna go get me unloaded. And then we're gonna make our way down to Indiana. It's getting pretty dark out, and it's time to go to bed. So thanks for watching, everybody. Please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that like button if you liked it, and leave me a comment down below. Check out the links beneath the video in the description. Lots more of me on the internet, all over the place. Good night.